<laughs> well, well, well. Look at what we have here. I avoid my turn on patrols every time it comes around. But the one time I actually decide to patrol, and I find my little runaway human. It is so nice to see you again. <laughs> you know, it really feels like forever since the last time we were able to have a little chat together. All alone. Tell me. Did my little human miss me? <laughs> Still just as cute as ever. Did you enjoy your time with Queen Mean? No. What, was her royal painness not up to your standards, human? That expression tells me everything I need to know. I told you, she's the absolute worst. Do you see what I mean now? Not only is she completely racist, but she's just so stupid and flippant. <sighs> she didn't she wouldn't happen to have uh, hurt you by any chance, did she? No? Ah, uh, good. Knowing her lazy ass, she would have gotten someone else to do it for her. But, you know, I heard a little rumor that she did end up throwing you in the dungeon. <laughs> I don't want to say I told you so, but... Nah, eh, who am I kidding? I told you so. <laughs> Still unforgivable. You know, now I don't even feel bad for letting that assassin in the halls go free. <laughs> what? You think I didn't see her? I'm not really known for caring about what happens to the spoiled little princess. Of course I saw her. I'm one of the best harpies in the Queen's Guard. No one can hide from me for long. Especially not you. You know, when she passed me, Almost thought it was you, you know, with the way she smelled, but, of course, her undead scent under it was way too pungent. Which reminds me, care to tell me why she smelled like you? Obviously, she snuck in through the dungeon, which is where you were. But there's no way she would have gotten that close to you. That is, without any ulterior motives. What? Is she your type? Undead? Gross? And cold? Did you let her feed off of you? Or did you two just get all... Buddy, buddy, so quick for no reason at all. <laughs> Let me guess. You like how pretty she is. That dainty physique she has. <laughs> what about her dark aesthetic? Does that do it for you? <laughs> Are my bright feathers really that unappealing? Am I jealous? Why? 
Is there something for me to be jealous of? <laughs> the way you stammer is cute. But trust me, there is no right answer to that question. Well, if you like her so much, you two must already be in a relationship. How sweet. Well, why don't we see if your assassin girlfriend can find you all the way up in the peaks? Huh. You seem way too calm. <laughs> what happened to that cute little squirmy scaredy cat I met on top of that tree crying and calling for freedom? You don't seem to be putting up that much of a fight. <laughs> don't tell me. You actually want to stay with me. Wait, you do? <laughs> uh, not even ten minutes into meeting me a second time and you're already head over heels for me. How cute. What? A binding spell? What's that? More magic from the witches? Ugh. I remember telling you that I hate that junk. <sighs> well, if you insist this much, go ahead and tell me about this magic of yours. Ah, I get it now. So you were sent here on a journey of some sort. To find what exactly? Hmm, okay. My next question is, why are you here with me? Really? Out of ten monster girls, you choose to spend the rest of your life alone with me. <laughs> no one's ever chosen me before. <laughs> well, not that I can blame you for your choice, of course. I am obviously the best of the best. At least you have good taste. You know, now that I think about it, that also means I get to have this cute little human all to myself for the rest of your natural life. <laughs> Honestly, it's not like you had that much of a choice anyway. I eventually would have hunted you down and found you. Just like I did the first time. <laughs> that was not an accident. I'm a great hunter. Anyway, the point being, there is nowhere within the nine realms you could ever hide from me. I'll find you wherever you go. <laughs> you know, it feels good to be a winner. You should know. After all, you really should consider yourself a winner too. I mean, here I am, all yours, forever. And honestly, who could ever ask for more? I am your favorite, right?